Envisit. Environmental Satellite is a large inactive Earth observing satellite which is still in orbit. Operated by the European Space Agency, ESA, it was the world's largest civilian Earth observation satellite. It was launched on 1 March 2002 aboard an Ariane 5 from the Guyana Space Centre in Kourou, French Guiana, into a sun synchronous polar orbit at an altitude of 790 km plus or minus 10 km or 6. 2 miles. It orbits the Earth in about 101 minutes, with a repeat cycle of 35 days. After losing contact with the satellite on 8 April 2012, ESA formally announced the end of Envisit's mission on 9 May 2012. Envisit cost €2.3 billion, Euros, including €300 million Euros for five years of operations, to develop and launch. The mission is due to be replaced by the Sentinel series of satellites. The first of these, Sentinel-1, has taken over the radar duties of Envisit since its launch in 2014. Topic: <laughs> Mission. Envisit was launched as an Earth observation satellite. Its objective was to service the continuity of European remote sensing satellite missions, providing additional observational parameters to improve environmental studies. In working towards the global and regional objectives of the mission, numerous scientific disciplines currently use the data acquired from the different sensors on the satellite to study such things as atmospheric chemistry, ozone depletion, biological oceanography, ocean temperature and color, wind waves, hydrology, humidity, floods, agriculture and arboriculture, natural hazards, digital elevation Observation modeling using interferometry, monitoring of maritime traffic, atmospheric dispersion modeling, pollution, cartography, and study of snow and ice. Topic: <laughs> Specifications. Dimensions 26 meters, 85 feet times 10 meters, 33 feet times 5 meters, 16 feet. Mass 8,211 kilograms, 18,102 pounds, including 319 kilograms, 703 pounds of fuel and a 2,118 kilograms, 4,669 pounds instrument payload. PowerSurler array with a total load of 3,560 W. Topic: Instruments. Invisit carries an array of nine Earth observation instruments that gathered information about the Earth, land, water, ice, and atmosphere using a variety of measurement principles. A tenth instrument, Doris, provided guidance and control. Several of the instruments were advanced versions of instruments that were flown on the earlier ERS-1 and ERS-2 missions and other satellites. <laughs> MWR MWR microwave radiometer was designed for measuring water vapor in the atmosphere. Topic AATSR AATSR advanced along track scanning radiometer can measure the sea surface temperature in the visible and infrared spectra. Because of its wide angle lens, it is possible to make very precise measurements of atmospheric effects on how emissions from the Earth's surface propagate. 
AATSR is the successor of ATSR-1 and ATSR-2, payloads of ERS-1 and ERS-2. AATSR can measure Earth's surface temperature to a precision of 0.3 K for climate research. Among the secondary objectives of AATSR is the observation of environmental parameters such as water content, biomass, and vegetal health and growth. MIPAS MIPAS Michelson Interferometer for Passive Atmospheric Sounding is a Fourier transforming infrared spectrometer which provides pressure and temperature profiles and profiles of trace gases nitrogen dioxide NO2 nitrous oxide N2O methane CH4 nitric acid HNO3 ozone O3 and water H2O in the stratus Sphere. The instrument functions with high spectral resolution in an extended spectral band, which allows coverage across the Earth in all seasons and at equal quality night and day. MIPAS has a vertical resolution of 3 to 5 km 2 to 3 miles, depending on altitude the larger at the level of the upper stratosphere. Maris Maris medium resolution imaging spectrometer measures the reflectance of the Earth surface and atmosphere in the solar spectral range 390 to 1040 nanometers and transmits 15 spectral bands back to the ground segment. Maris was built at the Can Mandalu Space Center. Topic: Sayamaki. Sayamaki scanning imaging absorption spectrometer for atmospheric chartography compares light coming from the sun to light reflected by the Earth, which provides information on the atmosphere through which the Earth reflected light has passed. Siamaki is an image spectrometer with the principal objective of mapping the concentration of trace gases and aerosols in the troposphere and stratosphere. Rays of sunlight that are reflected transmitted, backscattered and reflected by the atmosphere are captured at a high spectral resolution 0.2 to 0.5 nanometers for wavelengths between 240 and 1700 nanometers and in certain spectra between 2000 and 2400 nanometers. Its high spectral resolution over a wide range of wavelengths can detect many trace gases even in tiny concentrations. The wavelengths captured also allow effective detection of aerosols and clouds. Siamaki uses three different targeting modes, to the nadir against the sun, to the limbus through the atmospheric corona, and during solar or lunar eclipses. Siamaki was built by Netherlands and Germany at TNO, TPD, SRON and Airbus Defence and Space Netherlands. RA-2 RA-2 radar altimeter 2 is a dual-frequency nadir pointing radar operating in the Ku band and S bands, it is used to define ocean topography, map, monitor sea ice and measure land heights. Mean sea level measurements from Invisit are continuously graphed at the Center National Detudes Spatials website, on the Aviso page. Topic ASAR ASAR Advanced Synthetic Aperture Radar operates in the C band in a wide variety of modes. 
It can detect changes in surface heights with sub-millimeter precision. It served as a data link for ERS-1 and ERS-2, providing numerous functions such as observations of different polarities of light or combining different polarities, angles of incidence and spatial resolutions. These different types of raw data can be given several levels of treatment suffixed to the ID of the acquisition mode, IMP, APS, and so on. Raw, raw data, or level zero, which contains all the information necessary to create images. S complex data, single look complex images in complex numeric form, the real and imaginary parts of the output of the compression algorithm. P precision image amplified image with constant pixel width 12.5 meters for imp M medium precision image amplified radiometry image with a resolution greater than P G geocoded image amplified image to which simple geographical transforms have been applied to show relief data capture in wv mode is unusual in that they constitute a series of 5 kilometers times 5 kilometers spaced at 100 kilometers topic doris Doris Doppler orbitography and radio positioning integrated by satellite determines the satellite's orbit to within 10 cm 4 in Topic <laughs> GOMOS GOMOS Global Ozone Monitoring by Occultation of Stars looks at stars as they descend through the Earth's atmosphere and change color, allowing measurement of gases such as ozone O3, including their vertical distribution. GOMOS uses the principle of occultation. Its sensors detect light from a star traversing the Earth's atmosphere and measures the depletion of that light by trace gases nitrogen dioxide NO2, nitrogen trioxide, NO3, OCLO, ozone O3, and aerosols present between about 20 to 80 km 12 to 50 miles altitude. It has a resolution of 3 km 1.9 miles. Topic: <laughs> Loss of contact. ESA announced on the 12th of April 2012 that they lost contact with Invisit on Sunday the 8th of April 2012 after 10 years of service exceeding initially planned lifespan by 5 years. The spacecraft was still in a stable orbit but attempts to contact it were unsuccessful. Ground-based radar and the French Pleiades Earth probe were used to image the silent Invisit and look for damage. ESA formally announced the end of Invisit's mission on the 9th of May 2012. Invisit was launched in 2002 and it operated 5 years beyond its planned mission lifetime, delivering over a petabyte of data. ESA was expecting to turn off the spacecraft in 2014. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Space safety. Given Invisit's orbit and its area to mass ratio, it will take about 150 years for the satellite to be gradually pulled into the Earth's atmosphere. Invisit is currently orbiting in an environment where two catalogued objects can be expected to pass within about 200 meters (660 feet) of it every year, which would likely trigger the need for a maneuver to avoid a possible collision. 
A collision between a satellite the size of Envisit and an object as small as 10 kg could produce a very large cloud of debris, initiating a self-sustaining chain reaction of collisions and fragmentation with production of new debris, a phenomenon known as the Kessler syndrome. Envisit is a candidate for a mission to remove it from orbit, called E. deorbit. The spacecraft sent to bring down Envisit would itself need to have a mass of approximately 1.6 tons. See also List of heaviest spacecraft List of large re-entering space debris